Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on our solo game, and I figured it was just about time for us to try to tame up a Giga. It has been um, quite the journey on the solo game so far. We are actually level 99 currently, and I thought maybe it was time to actually go ahead and try this out. So, uh, I do have a level 15 female Giga here. She's uh, pretty cool looking. I like that green underbelly. And definitely not the highest level we can get, but um, yeah, I guess beggars not be choosers. And any Giga is definitely a good Giga in my mind, especially on solo. There's really not much reason to have one that's more powerful than the base stats. So I think we're going to go ahead and try to tame this girl up. Um, <laughs> hopefully... Hopefully it goes down pretty well, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, my griffin is maybe not the strongest, and those bites are going to hurt. So we are going to have to be super careful um, about how we do this. Especially since, uh, unfortunately, Radmami's um, face is apparently going to get in the way. So it could be a bit of a problem trying to do this. It would be great if I could get a little bit of height on her and just push arrows at her from down here. Um, that would be actually, yes, the ideal situation if this works. And so far, so good, although she's going to move. Uh, we'll have to go down after her a little. Can't even see her through the head feathers. Ugh, they're frustrating. Um, much as I love griffins, sometimes they do, they are a little hard to fire from the back of, which can be a problem. And gri like, gigas are super squirrely, so it's definitely a problem. Um, yeah, so I basically took my baslos out, gathered a whole bunch of biotoxin, like I spent a long time getting some biotoxin, um, making a ton of toxicant arrows because I do like toxicant arrows better for giga taming, um, than long neck stuff just because uh, you can fire them a little bit faster um, and they do about the same amount of torpor if you actually hit them. Can I? I can't even see her. This is such a problem. Come on now. Griffin, please. There we go. Hold still. Giga, come on. Oh, she's such a squirrel. She's gonna give me all sorts of trouble here. Uh, can I please get a little closer? I would tank the hits, except that I don't think that my griffin actually could tank the hits very well. So the goal is definitely going to be to kind of chase her um, more towards like a rock or something where I can get her stuck. I could obviously do trap taming, but um, it is me, so no trap taming. <laughs> I hate trap taming. Trap taming is the absolute worst thing that ever happened. She's just like floating all over the place. I have no idea what's going on with this Giga. Uh, she's magical. Can I... Okay, she's like seriously squirrely. She's floating around. Um, it's like she's not even walking. She's just kind of floating. Her animation's a little broken. Can I actually hit you, please? Ah, saving. There we go. Uh, I'm afraid her torpor is going to fall if I don't land more of these shots or I'll run out of toxicant arrows, which is definitely a possibility. Um, unfortunately, she's just not cooperating. I can't seem to land any of these hits on her. There's one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Gigas, man. Um, would, would probably have done better to make a trap, but I do hate traps. Um, and I feel like for, for Giga Taming, they only do so much anyway. Definitely um, an interesting element to trying to chase them around the map if you can. This works. I like this a lot. Just gotta be sure not to hit my griffin's wing and we'll be fine. Oh yes, very nice indeed. Okay. Cool. I like this. This is actually gonna work really well um, until she starts like super running and then we might have some trouble but hopefully she doesn't run towards the ocean fingers crossed and we'll actually be able to get her knocked out pretty soon up uh, if i don't miss aim for i like to aim for like where the tail meets the body basically her butt um 
Giga's butts are like a pretty good place for their hitbox. Like normally if you try to hit at their head or at the front part of their body, you just don't have much luck. But if you are aiming for that kind of junction between the tail and the main body, I tend to have a little bit more luck making sure I actually get their hitbox, which is definitely um, a good tip because these guys can be super all over the place. Looks like we have a heat wave going on now as well. Beautiful, stay. All right, so many biotoxin arrows that we are going to have to put into this girl, but I hope it's gonna be worth it. Um, I'm really looking forward to having a Giga on my solo game. Um, oh, sweet, she's down. That actually did not take a lot of time. We'll just fire that into the middle of nowhere. Um, that took way less time than I thought. Cool. All right, I am actually like 100% happy with that. Let's go ahead and find a good place to land. Kind of wolf free is kind of the biggest requirement I have there. There's one. Get out of here. There we go. Wolf gone. I just want to make sure that no, uh, nothing is going to come up and try to attack me while I'm dealing with this, uh, this Giga here. So essentially, um, I do have some prime meat. I do have a soothing bomb that I got from one of the caves. So it's a 10x soothing bomb. And I do have just a ton of biotoxin here, which I apparently need to feed very quickly. Let's go ahead and put this on her. Um, now I do also have a chef station. Um, so I could use kibble on this one, but I think I'm just going to try to use meat because there's really not that much... Um, there's really not too much I'm worried about losing in terms of like level stats on a level 15 So hopefully this will do the trick and uh, get her all tamed up without too many problems Just make sure she stays unconscious Yeah, and we'll see if she tames up um, Yeah, super super low level, but at least we are going to have a giga at all, which is kind of the goal She's super cute. I love that little green belly on the the gray body. I think that looks really fun um, all right. I think that stamina is actually decent for a level 15. Unfortunately, I see a lot of level 15 gigas. Um, <laughs> so I'm a little too familiar with their stats as compared to like a level 150s, but that stamina actually seems decent for a level 15. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do some fun stuff with that. Mostly I will be using this girl to, uh, to get some meat and kind of just keep the, keep the area around the base kind of safe. I may let her kind of just wander around the hidden lake and, uh, have a little bit of fun that way. All right. How long is this taming actually going to take? One. One prime. That was beautiful. Did not even need to worry about it. Okay, let's go ahead and put a saddle on you. Oh, she's gorgeous. Okay, I have to be careful not to, like, fall down the hill here, but let's go ahead and have my griffin follow me back, because that'll be the most um, efficient way. We'll kind of just head back towards um, head back towards the hidden lake, towards my base here, now that we've got her up, and eat stuff along the way. Delicious. Mmm, so good. All right, yeah, that stamina, it's its definitely still low, obviously, because she's low level, but uh, that is actually, I think, a pretty good roll on stamina. It did not improve any, but that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and eat these. Yep, we're just gonna, we're just gonna eat everything here. I could use it. <laughs> oh, it's so tasty, it's so good. I love it. Um, we don't do a ton of damage here, but that's okay. We don't need to do, like, massive amounts since we are already such a big, crazy strong creature. There we go. Man, these things don't drop much meat, I'm realizing. Um, alright, let's go ahead and level up just melee. <laughs> it's not very impressive how much melee we get per, uh, per thing, but that's okay. I'm happy with her. All right, and we are gonna need a really good name suggestion for this Giga, guys, because uh, she is beautiful. She is our first solo taming Giga. So yeah, definitely need some good name suggestions for that. Um, the reason I saved Giga taming till kind of more towards the 
uh, like upper levels here and sort of what I consider to be closer to like the end-ish sort of part of this series. Um, most of the reason for that, this RG I like can't hit. There we go. <laughs> um, most of the reason for that is just that uh, it's actually not very hard to tame a Giga if it's a low level especially. Um, you just kind of have to have the right equipment and basically it just takes time to get all of the good equipment which um, luckily we were able to do pretty easily on here since we have run all of the caves and I do have basilos now which makes it super easy to get biotoxin because in case you didn't know the basilosaurus is immune to jellyfish stings so you can just wander around in the water eat all the jellyfish you need um, and it makes life really, really easy. It's, uh, it's very, very convenient. Alright, let's go ahead and eat these mammoths. I'll get all of the, uh, all of the meat. Alright, although I am going to completely exhaust my Giga here. Stamina is such a problem. There we go. Alright, wait for it to come back. We'll put a few more points into melee here kind of level up as we go along. <laughs> I love their roar. It's actually a really fun roar. I love the way that they shake their head and stuff. It makes it so much more interesting than just like a base um, regular roar. The Rex roar is good, but I'm glad that the Giga roar is a little bit different. Oh man, we are... I'll just walk slowly. Can I get some stamina back, please? goodness. Man, Giga Stamina is the worst. I might even turn off auto run for this trip just because it's actually faster to just walk everywhere than it is to have to stop every five seconds and try to regain stamina. Um, yeah, that's like the biggest issue with these Gigas, I think, is the stamina is definitely a problem. All right. Oh man, I love these things. They're so big. You just kind of stroll through the forest and destroy absolutely everything. It's beautiful. This is how life should be. Come on now. Let's eat this mammoth. Let's do it. It's kind of a cool looking mammoth, but uh, I don't think we need it. All right. <laughs> cool. So I'm going to go ahead and keep walking this thing back to base. Um, and I will bring you guys back in a little bit once we get over there. And I do have a little bit of a surprise for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And I will catch you guys in just a couple of minutes here once we get back to the Hidden Lake. Okay guys, we are back. Um, we made it safely back with the Giga. Uh, it was quite a long journey considering um, just how much time it can take sometimes to get from A to B when a Giga has basically no stamina at all, even if they are just pretty fast, generally speaking. So, yeah, um, it was pretty good, and I really am pretty happy with this uh, this particular creature. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with her. She's going to be my main meat run dino, I think, on this game, which is just excellent. And I am going to keep leveling up melee on her, because why not? Why not just be ridiculously strong? <laughs> I love that level up animation. It's honestly great. All right, so uh, yeah, the surprise that I wanted to show you guys is actually over at the ocean base at the dock. Let's go ahead and fly over there real quick here. I am actually super excited about this. Um, it's something I've been kind of wanting to do ever since Arc Mobile first came out. It's one of my favorite creatures on the game and I finally have had a chance to do this. Let's run over here real quick. Here we go. All right. So I am breeding up my Basilos. I am super, super excited about this. Um, we are going to have a baby Basilo in just under five minutes here. It was a cross between uh, this 208 Basilo and then this level 104 Basilo. So they are crazy, crazy strong. I don't know what's up with their health. What is wrong with their health stat? How do they have 86,000 health out of 17,000? 
I'm very confused right now. Okay, there's clearly some sort of weird bug going on, but um, yeah, I do have these Basilos breeding up. I am gonna move her uh, a little bit maybe. Maybe not, she might be okay here. But essentially, I will be getting a baby Basilo here in just a few minutes. And yeah, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna claim it up. Um, maybe do a little imprinting on it. We'll kind of see what we get. It would be awesome if we got a mutation, but um, I don't necessarily expect one, and I don't know that we'd be able to spot it given um, given the current stats of the parents. But I am starting the Basilo breeding process because why not? They're awesome, and we definitely should have an OP one. So I'll bring you guys back in just a few minutes here when this baby is ready to be born. Alright guys, just a few more seconds here until this baby pops out. Hopefully there's enough room for it. Ah yes, beautiful. Okay, so we got ourselves a level 160, uh, 156. Uh, it is a male so it won't be very useful in terms of actually like breeding or anything like that but oh my gosh he's so cute oh my goodness uh let's disable wandering on you let's swim out here a little because like you're too adorable come here oh look at him he's so tiny and fat oh my goodness his tail is so useless looking Oh my gosh, um, I'm sorry, I just love this. I've not seen a baby Baslow on Arc Mobile before, uh, just because this is the first time I've ever actually been able to tame decent Baslows and get a breeding done, so I am very, very pleased with this. He is adorable. Uh, <laughs> he's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and imprint this guy. Um, I definitely don't think I will be using him as breeding or anything, but we can imprint him. We'll take him around for fun. Um, he does have the good health stat, which is awesome. Uh, we can definitely use the good health stat, and I think he might have the good melee as well. What's your melee? Yeah, he, he has the good melee as well, which is uh, pretty good news for me, actually. I think you don't have any of the good stats. Yeah, okay, cool. So, good melee, good health, which is um, half the battle. Does have the low stamina, but that's okay. Um, it'll improve a little bit over time as we maybe level it up. Um, not super concerned about that. And I will be, of course, um, breeding more of these guys, trying to get a perfect mating pair, because why not? They're so cute. I can't get over how, like, perfectly short and tiny and stumpy he is. <laughs> It's honestly amazing, and uh, they do eat a lot of fish meat, apparently. He is one hungry baby, so I will have to be super careful about making sure he stays fed, because he is just plowing through all of that food really, really fast. Fish meat does not give as much food as, like, regular raw meat, so um, that will be something I will have to keep an eye on. But, yeah, guys, <laughs> I do think that that... Um, is actually gonna do it for today's episode. It was super, super fun. Um, I'm really excited about the new Giga, so yeah, again, please do, guys, give me name suggestions for that Giga in the video, like, in the comments down below, and uh, name suggestions for our new baby Basilo as well. Oh my gosh, they're just so cute. All right, guys, so uh, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.